What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the High Five Studios Fancast. I'm joined with my other host, Asher. Yeah. So we have a banger for you guys this episode. And as you can tell by the title, this is our last episode. Sadly, yes. Uh, we will be releasing a episode at 5 o'clock on Sunday, this upcoming Sunday. So, January 3rd. We will be releasing an episode basically explaining why we're ending the show. And all that stuff. So, stay tuned for that. I would I would recommend listening to it just so you guys know. You know, so... And this is the final episode in 2022 so you know in 2022 like this is the final episode of 2020 oh, yeah, I thought, yeah, okay. okay small brain not the year not the year asher not the year you said the year i said 2022 like two like t-o okay cool. but yeah so this is gonna be a pretty good episode uh so I don't think I have anything else. Hope you all had a happy holiday. Is... Yeah, wait. What Do you have some high five slash your news? Ooh, yes, actually, yes. We have some news. Connor is engaged. Yeah. Uh, and Kevin. Yeah. So two engagements, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Let me get some water. Uh, Noah, who also liked one of your... Posts. You, yes, Samantha. So, yep. Hey, I'm saying it correctly. Samantha liked one of my posts. Yeah. It's always great when you're, somebody likes your posts, especially yeah. when they're famous. Uh, wow. Well, that's <laughs> dark, but... Okay. How is that dark? <laughs> you, you just said it in a weird way that made every person listening to this super uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm pretty sure whenever you talk, you make somebody uncomfortable. Okay, but yeah. Let's in, get into the review, starting off with GG. There were only three videos this week because of Christmas. Uh, so the first one is Head on Stunt Races. This is just with Paul and Connor. What did you think about this video? Um, I thought that it was it was a funny video. Um, I thought that the idea was kind of, you know, it was original, not really reused. Um, so, yeah, I liked it. I would rate this a 9 out of 10. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, too. Very funny. Very enjoyable. I kind of wish if Matt and Tanner were there, it would be super way more funny and way more hectic, too. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, I would rate it a 9. Nice. Uh, on to the next one, which is snipers versus fire trucks. This was also with just Paul and Connor. What did you think about this one, Asher? Um, I thought that this was uh, pretty good. You know, nothing huge, but I thought that it was funny. Um, I would have liked to see it with more people, like you said. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought that it was pretty good. I'd rate it an eight point five. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I would, ha- I would, I would give it a nine. I really enjoyed it. That was really funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the next and final one, which is steal the dump truck challenge. What did you think about this one? Last GG video that yep. I'm gonna be reviewing or I don't know rating is I, I would give that a nine out of ten. I thought that it was funny, um, and you know that you know been through a lot with GG. Yep. We're ending on a good note. Yes, definitely, definitely. Very good video. I thought it was super funny. Uh, I'd rate it a 9 out of 10. Now on to the Team Edge portion. Portion, yeah. Uh, so the first one is Fire versus Ice Challenge for your prize from the ice. What did you think about this video, Asher? Um, I was very alarmed by the... Uh, Instagram stories that they were making with like a cat frozen in ice and then like somebody trying to be like Han Solo and Carbonate. But when I saw the video, it wasn't as alarming and I thought that it was pretty fun. I like the idea, definitely creative. And I'll give this a nine. 
Nice, yes. I really like this one. Definitely not as good as the, you know, the other one this week. But I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'd give it an 8.5. Nice. Uh, on to the next Team Edge video, which is Among Us IRL, but the crew is blind. So basically, they played Among Us, but they could sabotage the lights. What did you think about this video, Asher? I thought that this is really, really funny. A great idea. I mean, they did two uh, normal Among Us IRL, then a prop hunt. But I thought that this was I, my favorite out of all of them. Yes, that, definitely. I would agree with you, right? It was way more funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. What would you rate it? Um, I would rate this a 10 out of 10. I thought they did. Nice. I would rate it a 9.5. I really enjoyed it. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Now, on to the overkill. Uh, so, you know, we got two videos this week. The first one is, I shaved an overkill logo into my head. So, basically, Matt shaved the overkill logo or into his head. That's really it. That's all he really did in this. Uh, he ba This was filmed... This was probably filmed back in, like, early November, I feel like. Sometime around early November, because we had, we've had we seen it in the Matthias vlogs for a little bit now. So this was definitely filmed a little bit ago. But I I really enjoyed it. I thought it was super funny. Super yeah. fun. Just kind of felt like an everyday vlog, kind of. Yeah, it definitely felt like more like, whoa, going around, talking to people, making jokes kind of thing. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. What did you think about it, Asher? Um, I thought that the thumbnail was very alarming with uh, Matt's eyes being green. Yes. Uh, that was kind of weird, but I thought the video was really, really funny. I really enjoyed it. Um, probably more than the products one. I, I, I really like this. Mm. Uh, and yeah, this is now currently my favorite Matthias. Video, or overkill video and i would rate it a 9.5 nice yeah i really enjoyed it i definitely not my favorite overkill but i really enjoyed it i thought it was super funny all that it, it felt so much like an everyday vlog i really enjoyed it i would probably rate it a 9 out of 10 yeah no underkill though no underkill though yes I think this was kind of before they started doing the overkill underkill. Like they, they still like had it, but they didn't like have them like in the same thing. I feel like. Yeah. Uh, the next one is, I, I buy a mega chair that touches me good. Yeah. The I I would say the weirdest title for a video. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah. So basically, Matt Tanner. And Pat, they order a massage chair. Uh, and then they basically assemble it. That's really it. I yeah. really like this one. Uh, wh what did you think about it, Asher? I thought that this is really, really funny. Um, I liked it. Uh, yeah, just really creative video. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, the overkill stuff, I feel like, is going to be really good. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's super funny. And sad that we this are not going to be reviewing it anymore. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, but what would you rate this video? I would rate this video a nine out of ten. Thought that it was a solid video. Nice. I would rate it a nine out of ten too. Really enjoyed it. Super funny. Uh, but yeah, we will be going to like a little bit. Okay, now on to the Matthias. So yeah, uh, starting off with the first Matthias is he stole the abandoned car while we were there. So basically in this, they leave off from the the stakeout. Uh, and then they look at uh, Woods' view, all that stuff. Um, and w what did you think about this? Actually, we'll go to the next one and then we'll talk about it. Just like we did last week. Yep. Uh, and then... Great. Yes, great. Uh, what would you rate this one? Uh, I would rate this one a 9.5. I, I would agree with you, 9.5. Definitely. 
Uh, the next one is the next. Yep, yeah, the next one is we GPS tracked the stolen car to the abandoned house. Uh, so Asher, uh, what would you rate this? I would rate this a ten out of ten. Yes, I would rate it a nine point five out of ten. Okay, so basically, uh, in the first video. They they basically look back, see Stifus stole the car. Matt reveals that he put a tracker on the car. Uh, and then they track him, and they're like, okay, the next day we're going to go track it. Uh, and then the second one is the next day. So a lot of this, ha like literally, like we have four videos that take place within two days. Yeah. Well, then next video might take place yeah so we're gonna there's gonna be a good amount of like it's gonna be a couple days like for all these and basically they go they look around uh san um uh, what's it called san san clarita san, wait what what do you say santa clarita no that's that's where they uh that's where they are uh yeah. San Francisco. That's it. Uh, yeah. San Francisco, uh, Canyon Road, and basically they track the car. They fly the drone. They find the car. Uh, Matt shows the tracker, and then he basically got a text or of a, uh, a vox from Kevin that he had that he then listened to, saying the key fob was Woods Woods's Woods. key fob, and that. It was Woods. And that's basically where we left off. So, Asher, what did you think about these videos? Any theories or... So, I think uh, this is the most, I would say, um, like, excited or, like, more... In, I don't know, like, the, the last one or, like, the, um, he took the car or whatever. Um, the, it left off on a huge cliffhanger. Yes. So I think that was this one was the most anticipated um, video that I would that probably in this whole like wait whole wait topic, which one because we're talking about both of them the, yeah the car the he took the abandoned car okay along so the first video um yeah that's the most anticipated that I was for Matthias yes probably me too um and I think that it was it was cool. I don't know. I didn't really have, like, I mean, plot twist with who uh, he got. There was one person. I was surprised. Cyphus was only one person. Yes. Um, and then Woods helped him a little bit. Well, we don't know. Well, no, 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 no. But he kind of, by dropping the walkie-talkie, it kind of, like, helped Cyphus out a little bit. Um, but it also didn't really help him because I think it actually helped them because, like, he's like, oh, what's that? And then he's like, I'm going to go check to see. He probably didn't realize where where the noise came from, so he went to go, like, see, maybe, probably. Yeah, if he gotten caught. If he, had the, if he had his phone and walkie-talkie, then they he could have said stop, and then they could have caught him while he was in the building. Yes, but... The, Okay, I, I see where you're coming from, but also, like, if Woods is part of it, yeah, but if he's not, like, that could have helped at no, least. I, I don't think, yeah, yeah, I, no, I don't, that was before it. You're saying that he, yeah, part, it did help. So yeah, yeah, definitely. But also, so my theory is that, okay, so he looks like he can't, like, we don't know exactly where he came from, but he could have somehow, like, knew that that was Woods's car or somehow and took his keys and used his keys or something like that. Cause you know, Woods did need to change his keys out, his fob. Yeah. So I think the first and foremost, if we're talking about the video, so the newest video, I guess of now, so the second one, uh, when Kevin, they just happened Matthias just happened to listen to it while Woods wasn't right there and not in the car. Um, and he said that that was 
Woods is a key fob. I don't think Woods is a part of it unless like the storyline is really, really good. Um, that would be surprising. Uh, but I think, I think cause, uh, Woods said that he lost his key fob before. Yeah. Okay. Like, and like it, his key fob did have trouble with it before. So I think he just left it somewhere. So I just went, found it and got it. And then, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I feel like it, like it could, like, it could have even been like Sam, like it, th- he, he could have taken Sam's key fob, but it just yeah. happened to be Woods's. Yeah. Um, I do think, I mean, first off, I'm going to say this is all fake. Like I know for a fact, cause they would have called the police when they, when they had actual evidence that it, the car was gone. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm surprised they haven't. Well, because well, it's all fake. M- maybe they just didn't want to show it. That no, no, they didn't. They, they. Is this is 100 percent fake? And you can quote me on that. Okay, I, I'm not. I'm still staying on the fence. Because we don't know yet. Like, we, like, we can't really prove it either way. Like, there's parts that show that it could be that, but we don't know for a fact yet. Yeah, I feel like it's it's definitely huge. Like, if it is real, that would barely, I, I don't know, it's like a 1% chance for me. But I think it's just weird that they didn't call the police right then when they said that they would. Um, they said before that they would if there was anything, and they didn't, um, and even seen evidence. Um, it's weird that that uh, Woods said, oh, maybe somebody's working in, like, with us who's working for Cyphus. In the video, and in the next video, they found out that it, yeah. Wood, Woods' key fob was the one, which, hey, plot twist, you know? sus that he would say that and then that would happen i'm thinking if it's the road that i'm that they're gonna go down i'm thinking woods is gonna be a part of it or whatever and then like kind of like it's gonna be a plot twist where it's like high five is divided now and like oh and it's all gonna be you know written scripted stuff like that um but yeah okay i personally i like because they don't film all of it they don't film the whole thing they definitely could have called the police and just not wanted to show it because you know they had to give like their address and all that stuff well i they didn't but i feel like they're trying to keep that on the down low like that they did call it that they did call the police and all that stuff because you know calling the police is sensitive matter with these things like you don't just want to like because you had to give like them your information and all that stuff. Like you kind of want to keep that on the down low. You don't really want to like be like, oh, if you called the police, why didn't you show us? Yeah. But then they're like, we can't. And then you'll be like, okay, then you're lying. No, but it's funny that they didn't. But we don't know that they didn't or not. No, but then why would they? The police wouldn't just say like, oh. Go, just like stay there or whatever. Or they would say just stay there, and then they went. Oh, well, that was the next day. We well, we don't know. They could have definitely, like, we really don't know. Like, cause we don't know everything about it yet. Like, we see twenty minutes of twenty of twenty four hours. Mm-hmm. Like, there could be like a bunch of behind the scenes stuff. Like them calling the police and all that stuff that they just don't show us because they don't want to show us like and all that like you know how like they're like we're not going to release the video until we think it's safe and all that stuff yeah they could be doing that with like that and like and not publicizing that they've called the police and all that stuff Mm -hmm. i feel like that's what they're doing personally i think just because, you know, I feel like if you want, to, like, if they're calling the police, why would they publicize and be like, we're calling the police, guys, do all that stuff. And then, like, 
Because like w- when they called the police the first time, they didn't say anything about it until a couple episodes later. Like we had called the police, nothing happened. Like yeah, but it's weird that and then like kind of switching gears, it's weird that the car was parked in the middle of just like like out in the open. It's weird that the mountain there. Okay, that, but that does, but like. Maybe he was, he was just trying to, like, get it far away. He probably wasn't trying to, like, hide it at all. Because, like, if we look around, like, there, there, there's no place to hide it. There's no garage or anything like that. Yeah. Like, there's no place that to hide it that would make it, like, hidden. Unless, like, you somehow have, like, a bu- bunch of, like, brush and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know. I think just to wrap it up, um, I like the plot twist. Uh, I like these. The storyline is good. I still, and I guess for the High Five Studios fan cast, at the end, um, my ver- verdict of all of this is that the key series or whatever is happening, it's a mystery, is all fake. You think it's fake? Okay. I thought you were going to be on Fence Gang. No, I'm on... But you're, fit. you're going to Fit Gang. Okay, yeah. Uh, you were in Fence Gang for a little bit, but... Yeah, I was, but... I'm, I'm not going to make up... I really don't care if it's real or fake. Like, yeah, me neither. I, I just think that it's fake or whatever, and that's what I'll say. No, but I want to... I, I feel like I kind of want to think it's real, because then it makes everything more serious. And crazier. Yeah. And yeah. if it's fake, it's fake. You know, it's fine. Like, I still got the adrenaline rush from watching yeah. it. Like, it doesn't really matter, like, to me. Well, if it's fake, I kind of want it to be fake so that there's more. So you're right? Yeah, so that, like, well, that would be fun to just say, oh, I'm right. But then there's, like, more content that, like, Matt can make another storyline. Or- but that's why I, because I feel like, if they, if it was fake, they would not be releasing it this quick. They would not be releasing, like, these videos this quick. Mm-hmm. Like, they would be spreading them out to, like, make more people come back. But if they're yeah. re- releasing, like, a bunch of crazy things in the same week. But they are slowing down. Not really. I feel like it just... But I, I feel like, well, because, you know, it was, they probably would have uploaded Friday if it wasn't Christmas and all that stuff. I feel like it feels like they're slowing down, but they're, but they're doing a lot in the episodes. Yeah. Like, they're doing so much. I feel like, like, if it was fake, why would they be doing it so quick? Because, and then yeah. they're showing the dates too. And that's why I feel like it, you feel, it feels like it's slowing down because, like, there's not too many, but it, and but it's happening like the same days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, we'll see. Well, yeah. I guess we won't see because we're not going to do any more. Well, but we'll time. still see. Yeah, we we will see. We'll maybe talk about it on what about that. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Asher, what was your... Anything else you had to say? Anything else? Um... Uh, long live the king, uh, Matthias, m- more like P green, not mega green, uh, Cyphus gang, hope that this all thing is really fake, and long live High Five Studios. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Asher, what was your favorite channel from this week? Uh, my favorite channel from this week is, um, I would say, Matthias had some good. Content. Least favorite channel. Um, I don't, I don't have one. Okay, my favorite channel would have to probably be Overkill. Nice. I really enjoyed it. Very fun stuff, and also do not have a least favorite. Channel, uh, favorite video and least favorite video. Uh, my favorite video was probably the Among Us, um, like the blind one or whatever. Yeah, 
Um, and then my least favorite, I don't have one. Okay, nice. Probably my favorite video was also definitely the Among Us. Mm-hmm. Very great. And also do not have a least favorite. Nice. But yeah, uh, so before we go, we are just going to, and since, you know, New Year coming, we're just going to go back through all the episodes of the High Five Studios fancast and talk about the different, all our favorite episodes that we've done and least favorite episodes. So, yeah. Uh, so, what is your favorite episode that we've done? Yeah, yeah. Actually, definitely. no. Actually, let's start out with least favorite. Oh, okay. Wow, getting spicy. Okay. Yeah, so my least favorite, I would say I have, like, an era. I don't really have a least favorite um, episode. But I think I have just, like, an era of, like, I just didn't really like the um, October I would say, like, early November, uh, late October, even just, like, kind of, like, October. Uh, But it's just kind of, like, you know, we were making content, but I was sick during it. Um, You know, I was a little bit of a sick boy. And, you know, it it wasn't the best time. I was on the phone, bad audio quality. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I would say my least favorite episode, uh, I enjoyed a lot of them. I I would say probably, uh, this is difficult. Yeah. There, I would say probably my least favorite episode is, uh, episode five. It was, uh, how is he so smart in August? Like it just. It just wasn't that fun. It was super long. It was an pretty much an hour and a half. Yeah. It's really long. The plays on it, like, it did not gross good. Mm-hmm. Definitely one of my least favorite ones to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what is some of your favorite ones that we've done? Um, I have really liked these past, like, this past, like, three or four episodes in December. I've really liked doing them. Um, they're, they've been really, really fun. Um, I like the start episodes, like the first, I guess, three that I was on. So two, three, four. Those yeah. were some episodes. Um, yep, because you weren't on the first episode. Yeah, wow, no. Only me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only me. Oh, yeah. uh, But yeah, so some definitely, I would say, one of my favorites was the first episode. You know, first episode was super fun to do. Like, new yeah. thing. I really yeah. enjoyed doing that. You know, I was by myself. Mm-hmm. It was pretty difficult. But I I'm, listened, hey. I, I, I listened back and it wasn't as fun. Well, yeah, because there's only one of me. There's only yeah. one Same. person. But I would say, in my opinion, what I would say one of my favorite episodes that we've done is episode four. We almost lost the podcast. Yeah, that was yeah. such a fun one to do, record, and all that stuff. Uh, I also really like doing the bonus episode. That was fun. That was really fun. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, I really, I've been, I've also enjoyed doing the past couple ones. Those have been fun, but definitely, I would say episode four is one of my favorite ones. It's yeah. just such like a. Ve- it was just so much fun to talk about and all that stuff, and that was when you thought the fire was fake. Oh yeah. You you were thinking oh it was planned, oh they they planned to have the fire, yeah. and all that stuff just for content. Yeah, and now there's a person breaking in and not stopping, so we'll do. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so Asher, what do you have to say now that we're ending the High Five Studios fancast? Um, so I did say, like, you know, a lot of stuff before. Um, hail Hydra, Hail Cyphus. Um, I, I think this is the end of an era, I would have to say. 
2020 was definitely really good. Uh, I'm glad that we kept up with it. I wasn't really thinking that I'd stay on this long. I yeah. Definitely in October, I was thinking that I'd just, you know, go leave Noah on his own. And because I wasn't really liking doing it, I was sick, stuff like that. Our content, even like on all podcasts, our content, content wasn't that good um, for like October, uh, November. But now we've kind of changed some stuff, decided to end this show. And then a lot more that we'll talk about on the bonus episode that's coming out on New Year's Eve of the Dude Perk Fancast. Yeah. But also this Sunday, we'll be talking about the reasons and all that stuff, like a full reason thing and yeah, all okay. that. Because so. it's kind of, a, it's definitely abrupt. Like, you know, making great content and then just kind of stopping. Yeah. Ending. This but yeah, so stay tuned for that. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be okay. In the end. Yeah. yeah. Big, big but yeah, uh, so I feel like that's it. Uh, thanks for listening to this podcast in 2020. Yeah. Kind of bittersweet that the High Five Studios fancast is ending. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, maybe something new comes in 2021. Maybe. I, I could only hope. Yep. Hey, I just gotta say, I feel like in 2021, there's gonna be a lot of things happening with the Matthias. Like, many different things, not just with Cyphus and all that stuff. Overkill. Overkill and all that stuff. You know, definitely, like, still gonna stay a fan of Matthias. Yeah. Like, always gonna do that. Still gonna talk about him probably uh that but yeah so that is it for this episode but please listen to this sunday at 5 p.m eastern because yeah. you're gonna want to listen to it it's yeah basically we're just explaining but i would say listen to it it's gonna teach you a lot i did not not teach you but like just you know we'll be talking it's gonna be shorter but yeah. Yes. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, still. Subscribe yeah. To yeah. We'll still be posting on Instagram. Actually, mm -hmm. I'll still be so, doing stuff on that. Just probably memes and stuff like that. Yeah. Kind of stuff. Yeah. Just other things. Maybe some like videos and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah. Uh. So that is it for now. This yes. See you all later. High five. Overkill.